Big things there guys, Gamer Jim here. Hello, welcome back to Crack Pack Minecraft Mod Pack. With the packs and the mods and lots of things. Um we're gonna say goodbye to our lovely base. Our, our first base as our house. Goodbye bees. Oh, the frame's still working. Okay. okay. Uh goodbye house. Okay. Let's actually move all this junk into one chest. Yeah. Goodbye this one chest, which I want to take. Goodbye this other chest, which I also want to take. One sec, I'm just going to empty out all the, the chests. Okay, yeah, goodbye bed. The last sleep. Oh god, I'm going to take... Oh, my inventory's full. I'm going to come back for the bed. So, goodbye anvil. Slightly damaged anvil. Goodbye. I, I can come back at any time, um, truth be told. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Wow. I haven't even... Okay, I have a ton more ores that I haven't even cleared up yet. Okay, I'll grab those in a sec. <laughs> I could come back. Uh, I haven't even finished. Goodbye, old Tinkerer's Constructs room. Goodbye... Uh, what was this? Pulverizing room and factory and stuff. All mechanism stuff. Goodbye windmill, uh, windmill table. Goodbye villagers which are trapped in a house. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, farms. Oh, spawner. Ah, we, oh, we're going to come back for the spawner. Yeah. This thing's empty. It's uh, uh, empty out of um, mob essence. Which is annoying. Uh, steak in there. Got an enderman head. Got a ton of those. I don't even know what you use them for. Got a ton of Enderman house. Do you know why we're saying goodbye? It's because we're moving into the new place. Yeah, a lot more efficiency. Goodbye, old stuff. Hello, efficiency. Oh, too far. Yeah, I haven't done anything with the outside still. Um, but I've moved everything in here. Yeah. Uh, let me just shovel this in here. Uh, all that can go in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I took I took about what this is in a sec. Um, yeah. So um, nothing's changed in this room apart from a few things, right? I have some more heat generators in there because uh, they're really cheap to make, and I made a few more, and uh, it goes all the way around now. Um, the statue here has been updated. It's now a cool looking robot. Still writing down notes about the hologram thing. Um, yeah, this I might get rid of this and get put clear glass in it because it kind of doesn't look look as good. Because uh, oh, there we go. Uh, because it kind of makes it look like it's got a mist, which is kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, uh, I've actually moved everything into this room. This is all the old stuff fit into this one wall. We got the pulverizer with the furnaces. And uh, using the old hoppers because they're old and they're legit and reliable. Uh, got the old two chests there. Got the um, igneous igneous extruder. Got and I no, got a bunch of those things. You know, uh, I've set up this this gas tank thing. It's all behind this bit. And then above here, we've got Tinker's construct with a. Uh, one of the things I haven't moved all the casts over yet, I haven't really had a chance to. Uh, but I've got all the flans mods into this little bit up here. I thought it'd be quite cool if I could try and fit it in one, and uh, I think I've done. I really like how it's you go out here and you look down, and it's a bit like in the library where you get a book from the top shelf. Yeah, I like that, it's quite cool. Um, so, oh, by the way, this is actually uh, this is three high, it just Bob. Yeah, look, as you can see, three high. It just goes into the ceiling here. Okay, uh, this thing over here is Applied Energistics. And Applied Energistics is a mod that uh, helps you automate stuff, uh, but also store stuff. Mainly the storing bit, but it is fairly easy to automate stuff like quarries, uh, like dumping, furnace, uh, cobblestone, or automatically putting it into a machine. It just makes stuff a lot easier to do, and so in future it might be good. Uh, this actually takes a few diamonds to make, but I've been quite lucky and I found a few more diamonds. Yeah, I've got 27 now. Um, 
and basically as you just saw then it allows you to go through your entire chest thing and search for what you want so if I wanted coal I could just go could be coal you know give me coal coke and coal so yeah it's super easy to set up so basically all these um, all the storage is is on these discs here uh, like this is 16k uh, and these disc things like work like USB sticks basically and uh, you can only stuff uh, only some amount of resources on them so this one's got uh, 1638 one, uh, one, uh, 16384 bytes on it um, and these have 1000 so it has like 16 times the amount of storage so um, yeah as you can take them out and move them around but you know obviously I just want them in this one area right window we are having a heat wave in England today it's hot very hot very very hot um, uh, so basically that's what this uh, Emmy drive does it stores all the USBs in there alternative you could use these uh, um, ME chests where you can get the drive and shove it all on here this way and I've actually got that set up just because I can actually easily store uh, like sort the, the discs out so I can have um, like what I've done here is, uh, on these discs if we look at these smaller ones I've got things that are in smaller stacks um, and this is because uh, each one of these discs only have can only store 63 different types of blocks uh, and stuff and items uh, so it's better to have cobblestone and stuff like that on these storage things because that you can actually store more on it but it's better to store stuff which um, you only have little amounts of on these 1k storage and these uh, these K things they actually go up fairly high I look at, oh no if I type in ME drive should come up no what are these called then ME yeah okay I'll just type in storage no doesn't work okay I type I type in a oh there it is it is there yeah okay, I'm just blind okay so we got the different discs here and that's um, basically how that works this is a crafting terminal that allows you to craft inside the uh, terminal uh, which is a little bit easier uh, really you only need one of these but I like this one because it's actually bigger to look at so I made that as well um, this is the controller this is the thing that you need to supply the power to as it will, uh, it will actually it's like the, the battery of the whole thing the power thing it will give uh, so I've, what I've got is I've got the um, the power cable leading to the um, to the controller here and the, as you can see it's got no more wires on it and uh, these things uh, are the cables that all these things connect with uh, I, I'm not sure if it worked um, if they would work because they're all next to each other but I've got the cables in there because they're cheap to make and uh, fairly easy to use uh, so yeah that's that's the applied energistics it's fairly easy it gets a little bit more complicated than that um, later in the as you go for the mod packs um, but yeah that's the storage I think it's really useful and really speeds up making of things I have a, the little um, uh, what we call it, engine room here this is the power room and it, as you can see I put a ton more of these heat gener generators in um, yeah they're all wait yet yeah, they're all, all um, exporting power I think hopefully uh, yeah I've also got a wind turbine set up here which is behind this wall and above there is the wind turbine if I can just go upstairs and show you uh, here we go just over here there okay so um, yeah so I just had a quick sip I had to get a drink uh, this is the wind turbine it's just hooked up going through the building and stuff um, yes this bit up here I don't really like this bit I might like tear it out and redo it but yeah uh, today we're going to be making a plane and um, add it to our plane collection of zero 
I think we should probably be making planes if we have a helicarrier, as it's like a missed opportunity here. Um, so I've made all the things to make a plane, I just haven't made the gun. Uh, what's weird is that it's a Spitfire, but it looks like it has an American gun. I reckon it's got a Browning in it, yeah? That looks like a Browning to me. Okay, so I'm going to make one Browning. Oh, it doesn't look like you can use it. Um, yeah, that's right. Okay, so these things, I, I thought I'd be able to use it. That's annoying. Uh, I don't know if I have enough. No, I don't. Okay, so we're going to make the Spitfire. Uh, because the Spitfire is the iconic English um, plane of World War Two, So we're just going to shove it down here. Oh, uh, something's happening here. Something that's not supposed to happen. Um, come on, come on, buddy. Can we go? Okay, I need to make some fuel real quick. I thought that wasn't going to be a problem, but it looks like it is. They're massive, those planes. Okay, so uh, I think this is how you make fuel. Fuel. There we go. That should be enough. Um, hopefully, hopefully that is enough. Oops. I just accidentally changed what hover mode I'm in. So if I jump in and press E, I, O, U, M. Okay, I'm looking at the controls now. So I had to get some uh, config set up and basically what you need to do is set up what is it flans mod and uh, I think I got the keys right so three oh no that was not supposed to happen three fuel we are spinning around now um, we have lots of fuel please no okay that's not good particularly that's not fun uh, well, this is not supposed to happen. Uh, uh, what's happening right now? Okay. Oh, so I think I have a little bit. No. Okay. Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> okay. No. Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's just take off, shall we? If I go one. Yeah, okay. Um, so, so that was a bit loud earlier. Um, but basically, this is really difficult. I think I've got it right. I don't particularly know where I want to go, but this is just strangely fun. Um, okay, I want to try and go up. Oh, wait, I'll push to check how much fuel I have. Good amount of fuel, good amount of fuel. Okay, let's, let's try and fly over. Oh, no! Not good. Not. Let me get in. Get in. Get in. Not. Not particularly good here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm breaking it now. How do I pick it up? How do I safely... Okay. So, yeah, that didn't go to plan, guys. Um, didn't really work out how I wanted it to. Um, right, so, let's see. I'll just pop it down over here. Should be okay here. Uh, it looks a little bit damaged, not gonna lie. Let's just try and turn it around, shall we? Okay, here we go. It's burning at the back. And, oh, no. How do I reverse it? Okay, that'll do. Uh, is my landing gear up? Um, enter. Oh, no, I want that up. Okay, bounce. Okay, press 3, and we'll just have a look at repair. Tell knows we need another gun that that's 30 oh jesus christ okay right i'm gonna repair our spitfire and we'll be right back 
okay so I've got the materials to fix it so basically obviously that was just a test uh, to show you guys how to fix your plane uh, this is what you're supposed to do um, then what you do is yeah we just right click on the bit that's broken so when we looked inside if we hop inside now we can probably see that the repair the towel is almost done um, but not really at all now yeah I'm pretty sure it's right clicking it fixes it if we just right click around this area and what if I right click on the uh, let's get the sound up there's no sound so it's I don't know what I'm actually doing but I did stop the smoking oh god three so it is actually fixing it. I fixed the nose. So if I just keep right clicking on it for a while, it should fix the back. I don't know if I had to spam click. Uh, is that fixed now? Spamming for the win. No, 81%. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to hold it down. It's a good way to test it out. If I hold it down, Just pointing at the tail, the wing. Does that repair it more? Yes. Hold it down, guys. That's what you're supposed to do. Hold it down. Uh, it looks a little bit dented at the front, but I'm not sure that's actually what it's supposed to look like. Also, so uh, as you can see, we've lost like a gun and a wing. And I just click repair, and now I'll fix that. What I need to hop out now is cool it down with the old. Uh, burning tool and should fix it up I just hold it down a little bit yep yep just holding down this how, how much is that done 100% yes so our Spitfire is running at 100% but I've decided that we're probably not going to keep that as our uh, as our main ship now I just want to check something as well I mean our test run ship that would be our cool one that sits at the side um, so really it should be facing this way like that but I'm a bit worried that's going to fall off ok let's try it here nope wrong way let's just check that it breaks it at all nope it doesn't break it if you break it with your hand so I need to face it in the right, the right direction and yeah that's almost perfect that'll do um, let's get another plane going but this time we're going to go for a wooden plane um, it's going to be the fo Fokker I, asked, I just feel wrong saying that uh, but it's made out of wood so it should be easier to make but I need to work out what gun that is it's probably um, okay I've been looking at the, the gun and um, well it's a German ship so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need the German weapon box uh, it might be something weird like it might use a Japan because the, the Spitfire is English but it uses the American gun or maybe it was made in America but the English used it during the war I'm not really sure I'm not you know an expert or anything um, so yes so I'm going to make one of these. I think I have the materials too. And uh, after this, I'm going to have to go on a long caving trip because I've been I've gone for like a hundred iron going for this crazy stuff. But I do it so you don't have to. So yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. Let's just jump it on here. Put it down. And see if it's on there. That looks like it. Yeah, that's it. Twenty-five five. So it's still twenty-five. Um, yeah, 25. Oop, that's too many sticks. 25 iron. So. The only thing I'd say about my new keyboard is that the minus key is so small. But it's really quiet. You guys, I can't actually hear it when I listen in. So, you guys might be able to because you'll be listening out now. It's brilliant to see it. But it makes like a soft kind of noise. Uh, but yeah, that's an M. Um, 16 I don't even want the guns to be honest 
Okay, that's 50 iron on that still. Um, yeah, I need to make the sticks. I'll just grab a bunch of them and then it's probably quicker. Uh, what is that? Panzer Shrek. Okay. Shrek is love. That is a messed up video. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to make all the rest of the materials because it would probably take quite a lot of time. So this one's still going to use some iron, but looks like it's going to use less, which is always good. I made a bunch of sticks just so it would speed up time. Um, nope. Um, just got one of those. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on. Okay, guys. So here's the ship. We're going to learn from our mistakes and get a little bit further away. So this one's a lot smaller and I reckon it'll be a lot easier to use than the other one. It is however a Nazi vehicle so yeah um, I kind of feel like I'm betraying the team. So yeah okay let's try and fly this thing. So what we need to do is one to accelerate, five to get in that mode, the rudder's right going One to speed up. There we go. That should be enough speed. Thing here. Wow, this is a lot easier to control. I've also got the second most powerful engine in the first one, which might have been a mistake and it might have been harder to control. Oop, no, wait. So, what we do with fuel? We have a lot of fuel, no problem with fuel. Uh, control set up, let's go for it. I've got a nice straight plane here. We may have to move a little bit. Not straight on the runway though. Holding zero. Holding zero, holding zero. Okay. That's one way of stopping. There we go. Uh okay, let's let's position it. So it's somewhere. Nice. Okay. So let's see. What did that landing give us? Oh, 10% on the tail. Easy. So yeah, I'm going to probably practice with this plane. And um, I'll probably get them to set up for a nice screenshot. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Those are the planes. Those are the, the flans mod. Um, I think next time we're going to be diving into witchery. And uh, maybe leaving, uh, starting the next project as this one's almost, almost done uh, but in the meantime I'll probably work inside the helicarrier to try and finish this stuff off so yeah, thanks guys for watching see you guys next time, goodbye also remember you can write down your name in the or username in the comments and I will build, build you a statue on the helicarrier and you can do like um, my buddy Dan down here has done and get a cool job Okay, thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.